I believe it's our seventh one. I'm very excited to be here this um, evening. Um, again, for those of you who are kind of just now, uh, maybe this might be your first uh, episode. Um, this is a series that I had uh, put together um, featuring um, indigenous artists, poets, um, hip hop artists from all over. Um, I've brought um, a lot of people from many tribal nations to our virtual stage. Um, it's been it's been pretty cool so far. But the reason why I really wanted to do this was to um, to promote the message of stay home because um, with this virus that's going on, there's uh, you know a lot of tribal nations out there that are being affected, and you know it's. Um, important for us as young people to do our part, you know, especially now with the weather um, getting nice and, uh, you know, we've been under quarantine for a while. Um, you know, we want to get out and, and move around a little bit, but, you know, right now I think is more the, one of the most important times to kind of discipline ourselves and stay home because um, the virus is still out there. The numbers are still going up and here in Iowa, um, you know, things kind of reopened yesterday, you know, like the malls and uh, bars and, and things like that. So right now I think is kind of, um, it's really uh, important more than ever to do our part and stay home, you know, and, you know, we've been seeing things throughout social media and, and the news um, about other tribes and what they're going through, South Dakota and um, down in the Southwest. You know, there's um, tribes that are getting hit hard with this. So it's very important that we kind of um, do our part and stay home and try to, uh, you know, like, you know, the message is protect our elders, protect our young people, um, protect our um, immunocompromised. And, um, you know, this is something that I thought that, you know, we could bring forward and showcase some artists, you know, on uh, a platform that I had, which was my art gallery. And so, um, we've had some, um, like I said, some really great artists come through here so far, and it's been a really honor and a really great pleasure to bring forth, you know, some poets and and to continue to do that, to continue to bring artists through, um, you know, this this stage through my art gallery. And so um, tonight, yeah, it's going to be another um, a great uh, evening of um, poetry and music and inspiration. Um, some of the things that. Um, I've been talking about um, throughout this series is um, getting people to create, you know, calling out artists and stuff to create during this time. Um, painters, um, uh, hip hop artists, uh, uh, musicians, um, you know, and also poets and, and other um, artists, you know. Um, so you can um, come to our stage and perform. You know, we got a call out for indigenous poets to uh, send your um, biography and a short video of you to um, indigenousartalliance at gmail.com. And we will get that. And hopefully you can be here um, on our virtual stage. We've got Tanea Winder uh, giving out a um, signed autograph book to uh, the first few selected artists. So um, if you're interested in that, um, send your info in and we'll get you looked at. So again, um, you know, the reason why we're doing this is because, you know, we want to flatten the curve. You know, I'm from Iowa, I'm from the Midwest, and we um, in the state didn't have a um, shelter in order place. So, you know, we've been kind of um, seeing these numbers go up. Um, meat packing plants are all around and, you know, the numbers are still kind of climbing. And like I said, you know, they reopened kind of some of the things, businesses and stuff like that. So um, it's been very important to kind of be careful in how much we move around you know, practice that physical distancing. So um, that's something I really wanted to share. And I'm very grateful uh, to have some artists on tonight to uh, share their stories and their poems and their art with us. Um, so before, um, you know, I always, um, I've have, I have been, um, you know, throughout the series, just kind of creating myself, kind of doing that, uh, uh, same thing, you know, creating throughout the week and just sharing that message uh, 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 with you here and, um, you know, writing poems throughout the week so I can share them on um, tonight. 
So I'm going to get started here with the poem. You know, I just kind of finished up here the other day. Um, and I want to thank everybody for tuning in, uh, for continuing to tune in. I want to thank the Midwest Writing Center again for um, partnering with us tonight. Uh, so <clears throat> we're going to get this show started. Uh, here's our first poem. Uh, it's called The Virus With No Cure. A virus with no cure, but yet we want more. More of the same, more complacency, more comfortability, more conspiracy. A virus with no cure, or is there? The unmasking and the things this disease is exposing, all the fucked up shit we knew was there. We've been screaming since the clock started ticking. 530 years of studying a system, a virus with no cure, or is there? Mindful movement, be cautious of where and what you touch. From now on, the rules must be obliged by or else to the guillotine. A virus with no cure, or is there? Do we adopt a regenerative mindset and look to the books to explore a more nonviolent context? Can we not repeat history? Is the cure to rewrite this messed up script is wanting more of the past, the cure to a better path? Is it in the math? Somewhere in the 197 million miles lie the answer entrusted in one of us? Or is it a combination of more exploration between the lost relationship of mortal and plant a language to unlock a flow replenished every spring. A virus without a cure, or is there? So that was the um, poem that I just finished up here, just kind of, um, you know, talking about, you know, uh, taking this time to kind of um, look to kind of like the old ways and how kind of our ancestors got through their, their, their times of, um, you know, um, hardship and going through things like this because, you know, um, some of our elders had gone through times like this. And so um, I think it's important that we kind of look back at uh, what they did to get through and which is, you know, going back to kind of, um, you know, uh, planning our own foods and, and learning about our traditional food systems and things like that, you know, because, you know, it's very important that we continue those practices or relearn those practices, I guess, kind of regenerate uh, some of these old uh, plants and things that we used to eat, you know, because, you know, things are kind of looking, uh, you know, crazy right now with the virus and with all of these, you know, uh, meat packing plants, like I said earlier, um, you know, the, the numbers of people who are being affected, you know, the employees in there. So I think it's important that we kind of start rethinking the way we are getting things and, you know, uh, nothing wrong with that, but it takes a little bit of learning and hopefully we can inspire some of our young people, you know, to learn, to learn that, to learn those practices. So um, with that, you know, I'm very um, excited to um, get into our first uh, reader for tonight. Um, very uh, um, in, in, uh, excited to hear uh, what she has to read. I read one of her poems earlier, so I'm very um, excited to introduce tonight uh, Christian Demar. Let's give her a virtual round of applause. Thank you, Dawson, and thank you for inviting me here. Um, <laughs> my screen just went away. Can you hear me? Oh, there I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the poems I've written lately are pretty much all about the pandemic. Um, I can't see it on my computer at all, but I can see it on my phone on the Facebook Live. So that's Hi. funny. Hi, honey. I'm doing a reading, so <laughs> thank you. Um, so the first poem that I wrote 
when things kind of started out, uh, is called six rolls and six feet of distance. I count my rolls, I keep my distance, both at the number of six. I have 68 glasses of wine, according to the boxes, and a bottle, which doesn't proclaim how many glasses it contains. I have six unopened packages of cheese slices because I know what's important and what I need to live. Um, so the second poem that I have is actually um, uh, some interconnected haikus. Um, so it's self, our, pardon me, it's called whiny self quarantine haikus. Never mind me, I'm just minding my wine. This is nothing new. I don't go out anyway. Who's going to bring wine? Who's going to bring wine? It's self-isolation time. I bought all the cheese. I bought all the cheese. The toilet paper was gone. So I bought more wine. So I bought more wine and snacks for the kids to eat. I should have bought meat. I should have bought meat, but I panic shopped this time. This is nothing new. Um, and so I've got two more poems here. Uh, the next one is one I wrote because I, you know, it's mostly sarcastic. So I hope you can understand the sarcasm here. Um, it's called Pandemic, Pan Gamdemic, Believe. Believe the leaders or believe the numbers, which are lies of best guesstimates with faulty tests and so many people still not being given a test. Believe they're much higher than what we are given. I personally know two people who false tested negative before testing positive. Believe it's no worse or no deadlier than the flu. Believe the stories about 5G and cover up. Believe that if you're a Republican, it won't touch you. Believe it's a political thing. Believe that wearing a mask should be your freedom of choice. Believe your decision is only about you. Believe that you're young, thus invincible. Believe it's a scam. The coronavirus doesn't care about your belief system or your politics. Believe that. The coronavirus doesn't play follow the leader. <sighs> okay, and so the last one I wrote um, is called It's Not About You. Wear a fucking mask. It's not about you. It's not about your personal freedom. It's about your grandma. It's about your grandpa. It's about your babies, your children. It's about caring for others. It's not about the orange man and his poor role modeling skills. It's about your mom. It's about your immunocompromised nephew who had a heart transplant. It's about your asthmatic son. Maybe it's about a small petty piece of your personal freedom that you gladly give to ensure others' lives and continued freedom. It's very apparent now who is self-centered, no mask, and who cares about others? Math. It's good to know that information. I just know that now I am brushing my teeth purely for myself. And that's what I have. Thank you very much for including me tonight. Um, I look forward to hearing the rest of the show tonight. All right, I'll be back. All right, all right. Let's get a, a virtual round of applause for Christian DeMar. Thank you for uh, sharing your poetry with us tonight. Um, Scandemic, pandemic. Yeah, that was, um, that was pretty, pretty good. Um, pretty good poem. Yeah, so again, um, I want to welcome you for uh, tuning in tonight for another um, a, a, another series, another reading 
um, Stay Home um, Live Poetry Reading Series. Um, and again, there's no better time than now to, to kind of stay home, you know. Um, you know, I know things are kind of uh, uh, presenting themselves to seem like they're all right, but you know, it's kind of still scary out there with no no kind of um, uh, medicine for this. So, you know, let's just do our part and stay home. Let's, um, you know, create, let's, let's do our part and take care of our elders, take care of our children just by, you know, simply staying home. Shout out to all the healthcare workers who are um, on the front lines doing what they, you know, um, what they're doing, taking care of uh, the people. Um, so again, this is always um, a, so, a show in a series dedicated to them um, because you know they're they're doing they're doing a lot you know especially you know down south down in the southwest you know there's a lot of um, you know a lot of uh, uh, sickness going on down there so <clears throat> um, I want to read another poem you know I I, I wrote another poem uh, you know finished it up here. Um, just before we got started, um, kind of uh, want to reflect on uh, some of the things I guess just kind of growing up um, as a you know indigenous person, um, you know throughout you know going just traveling and and being around um, Indian country, you know just kind of um, wanted to uh, put it put it together in this little little poem I wrote and. Um, here we go. Broke touch screens, basketball dreams, meth fiends is the only scene in this film. Hot sunny days, sitting under the shack with warm beers, spitting that old Indian wisdom. And trying to sing powwow songs, but the raspiness and pauses to take a drink make it an impossible feat. The hope and glory of yesteryear ooze out with the sweat under the hot sun as the hot moon approaches. A fire is lit and the ceremony is about to begin. But it's been a minute since I had the motivation to win. Cause when the claws set in, ain't no telling when it will end. So the best move is to wait out the situation. An undisturbed path is a clear path before you know it, it's a, it's a wrap. Salutations. Cut to the next scene, blown glass heated under the guise of the sacred fire, chasing that bright color, that angelic sound and bouncy clouds that keep you running around season after season, after season, after season, until the license expire. Cut to the next scene, broken dreams, time fiends is the only thing you'll see in this film. Sipping away, sitting on coolers, waiting for the postman to come along with some hope or some dope. Cause in a few years, I'm gonna be the next CEO. If the time allows me, one more chance. Stay tuned for the next scene. So yeah, that was just kind of, um, something I had been kind of thinking about reflecting, kind of putting images together that I had seen. And, you know, I kind of like to uh, uh, do a little other other types of writing. And so, you know, I kind of, um, you know, just started chopping things up and put together, you know, a poem like that. So um, again, I just want to um, kind of reiterate that message of just keep creating, you know, while we're at home, while we're supposed to be quarantining and, um, you know, I know since I've been, you know, here um, on the settlement, you know, we've been under a, a shelter in place order for a couple months now, you know, uh, 60 days or so. So, you know, I've been just kind of trying to keep keep busy, keep my mind busy by creating different things, keep writing and, and doing this show, you know, and it, it's a great honor. It's one of the one of the um, greatest things I like to do is uh, put people on stage and showcase um, great artists, great um, hip hop artists, great singers, and it's a great honor for me to have our next featured artist here on um, the um, Indigenous People's Art Gallery virtual stage. Um, this next artist is an independent R&B artist mixed with uh, hip hop and soul. 
She's a singer songwriter, uh, inspirational advocate. Uh, she's a powwow dancer. She's a storyteller, among many other things, entrepreneur. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you Honey. Hey, you got that? Hey, y'all, hey, shit, hey, honey, and shit. Got this, honey, and it's like, Jenny, hey, boss, it's Jay, my, this gives you that shit, Jay. She my, hey, Katie, mini cows, will ya? She, yeah, hey, Samson Lee, will ya? Hey, you guys, my name is Honey. I'm a hip hop R&B artist, mainly R&B. I like to sing a lot more than I like to rap. But I got some songs for you guys. And I just wanted to make sure that you guys understood that staying inside and staying sanitized, staying healthy, masked up, it's very, very important. Not only for the sake of yourself, but for the sake of other people. The coronavirus is super crazy. And not only can you be a, a carrier, but you can also be a person that transmit the disease to another person. So do us all a favor, including your family and yourself. Just wear a mask, wear a mask, sanitize your hands all the time. Make sure you're washing and not touching your face all the time. Uh, my hands are sanitized and very clean, so I'm probably gonna touch my face. But you don't do it, don't forget, you guys just had an opening of the community in Iowa on Friday, which was yesterday. So make sure that you guys are doing the best that you can to get all the things done to sanitize yourself and keep yourself situated. If you guys didn't understand what I said earlier, I was speaking Navajo. My name is Honey. I'm an inspirational advocate, R&B artist. Um, I like to sing. My mom's name is Katie Minicals. My dad's name is uh, Samson Lee. And yeah, I got two songs for you guys. I'm gonna sing one song and the other one I'm gonna rap. So maybe give me a thumbs up if you can hear my music. Uh, just shut your eyes. Let's think about things for a second. The warm heart that used to be open, it feels good to see You can feel golden too. That's song. Listen to the words. My name is Honey. If you didn't know, now you know. Voiceofhoney.com. Voice of Honey, everything. We are the people. We're living in the city on the land. Breathing poison from the sky, from the fruit in our hands. Why don't come to that don't know? Never fighting so low. Gotta sleep between the lines. Keep it simple. Never wear a mask. Make the 
times make you think you're sick. Give you peel after peel, then you're more sick. Days to weeks and weeks to months. I'm trying to mind a cure for grief. I was in such a fun. Open your eyes, make no such attention. To what you eat, what you watch, what you say. Change the world in a positive way. Don't let yesterday bother you to take the hurt of mine. My name is Sunny. If you hey, for the people that you hey. For the love, if you didn't know now, you know. My name is Honey, if you, hey, hey. My name is Honey, if you didn't know now, you know. For the people, if you didn't know now, you know. For the love, if you didn't know now, you know. Hey, take a look at the picture. Take a look at the time. Take a look at my people. They're standing back in the line. I'm not waiting to lose my hand. Now I'm waiting for peace. Feel them out to the point. Mercury on the streets. Why they leave the lines open for your authority? People be in authority. Speak it with my voice loud. Speak up on majority. People waiting for change. Lives we arrange with visions they call it blurry, I call it pain. My name is Honey, if you didn't know, yeah. For the people, if you didn't know, yeah. For the love, if you didn't know, now you know. My name is Honey, if you, hey, hey. My name is Honey, if you, hey. For the people, if you, hey. For the love, if you didn't know, now you know. My name is Honey, we are the people. So look at the time. I'm standing with the flip and looking back at the line. I'm trying to hold the back. You'll be know that I'm powerful. Losing all the straight path. Bumping on the rocky road. They can enter. I'm free to watch. I know it is my time. I'm gonna take you back to things that I do through this line. I'll use a wand if I have to survive. Bring it back. Back to the start. Here's the reality of mine. I see you by the through the work of describing. I wouldn't have to have somebody here. Yo, we're bringing it to you live. Music is a surprise. I hope it leads to reality while I'm together with these guys. My name is Honey. It's a Hey, yo, for the people if you, hey, yo, for the love if you didn't know now you know, my name is Sunny if you, hey, hey, my name is Sunny if you didn't know now you know, for the people if you didn't know now you know, for the love if you didn't know now you know, my name is Sunny if you didn't know now you know, that's it you guys, that's my time, two songs for you guys, make sure you guys are staying in, staying masked, staying sanitized, staying safe, Stay in, in the moment of where you guys care for others and as well as you guys yourself. That's it. Voiceofhoney.com. Voice of honey on everything. <sighs> Two thumbs up. Snap your fingers. Clap your hands. Throw your hands in the air like you just don't care. That's it. Let's give another virtual round of applause for Honey all the way from Salt Lake City, Utah on our virtual stage here at the Indigenous People Art Gallery and Cafe. Such an honor, such an honor and a privilege to have her here. And it's a great, great, um, again, uh, show we had for this evening. Um, you know, we, we had Kristen Dumar, we had Honey. Um, again, we partnered with the Bidrest Writing Center. Want to thank them for, uh, again, always being there, Sarah, for doing, um, you know, the, the technical end of this. Um, again, we wanna um, encourage all of our um, creatives out there, all of our indigenous uh, poets, uh, writers, artists, you know, if you got um, something you wanna put out there, you've been working on your poetry, be sure to um, hit us up at indigenousartalliance at gmail.com. We'll get it looked at and hopefully you could be uh, presenting on our virtual stage as well. Um, again, uh, tune in next week. We got some, uh, some more artists, some more poets. I'm um, going to be their first time here on our virtual stage. So um, I'm very excited to have them um, coming on. Again, I want to say thank you to Honey. Check her out, Voice of Honey. Everything, she's everywhere, Instagram, YouTube um spotify everything check her out um again yeah thank you for tuning in this week um and again let's all do our part you know let's all be safe out there man iowa it's getting you know i don't know what to expect kind of crazy but you know we could do our part and kind of flatten that curve limit that risk by just simply staying home you know continuing to be mindful of how we move and um you know just 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 take care of ourselves it's the best way we can do it again um you know prayers to all of those tribes those tribal communities out there being hit hard um you know we're thinking of you um and and again um let's do our part thank you honey thank you Kristen. thank you sarah and thank you all for tuning in have a good night 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.